Hi, um, good morning. I've decided this morning I wanted to put another design sheet together. The last one I put together on camera is this one here. And I haven't really progressed it much since I did it on camera. And I think the problem with this one, I don't like the way it's developing pink, 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 pink. I mean, I like pink, but I don't want just pink, pretty, pretty pink. So I got a different, so this was pages torn from a magazine. And they've all got like subtle pastel colours in them, those images. So I decided to cut up some more dramatic images that had more colour in them, different tonal tones and things. And these are the... The Christian Lacroix playing cards. Um, so that's what is cut up here. Apart from these three are cut from Christian Lacroix note cards. Okay. Um, so I've done it now and I've stuck them all on. Yes, stuck. Pretty stick. I know you probably can't believe it. So then I had a bit of a dilemma because the shape that's prevalent on this sheet is this shape, playing card shape. But I want to draw it all together. Now I could draw around the playing card to say bring in different so if I drew around the playing card there then whatever I put in that shape that I draw out will draw those two pieces together but I thought it might be a bit silly to put it down here playing card playing card or over here so I'm wondering if I can get away with a circle to encompass a few things um, more than one circle but looking at the images, so here she's got circular jewels in her skirt and there's a circular jewels in this crucifix here. And at the end of the day, nobody's going to mark me on this. Uh, the circles here as well, florals. So nobody's going to mark me on this. I'm not going to pass or fail anything. And it's only for me, <coughs> just as a warm-up exercise, I guess, just for creativity, blah de blah de blah and for no other reason than I enjoy doing it, to be honest. So I'm going to see if I can draw a circle that encompasses... I want it to extend there, go over there. That would work there. Right, I'm going to go for it. Okay, wish me luck. And it just draws all these pieces together. And then I can work within that circle. Put more design ideas in that circle. I'm wondering if you can see that circle. Now because this is a design sheet, allegedly, I won't be... Uh, what I'll do is I really like to do this and it's really stupid because it's such a, an infantile thing but humour me, I really love to do this. Just define these shapes with stitch marks, okay? Um, indulge me. Very simple, very boring, I guess, to you, but there's a bit of a satisfaction going on here with me. And then work within that circle to blend it all together and I've already prepped some stuff for that so now there's a lot of metallics going on in these images and I don't have metallic threads it's not something I use um, as you probably know if you follow me I use mostly white but I do have metallic like beads and sequins um, so these will probably be used to reference the metallics. I have more, they're just the ones that I've got out this morning. And I've got those beads and those beads. So what I've done is I've done three tiny little tags with these sequins on them. And I can place them in here as a reference to metallic. Now I could place them like that, which I probably will. I mean, or I could do them like this, but I don't want them to look just plonked, you know what I mean? So I'm probably going to place them all together over there, and I will just... I was going to say I'm going to glue them on, but you know what? I'm more inclined to stitch them on, although having said that... Now I think that's going to work like that. And then maybe over here in this area... I could have some loose sequins or beads. Um, 
<coughs> and I could actually find a shape that appeals to me and draw it out and stitch into it. So all these things will come as I progress, but this is the very early stage. Um, so I am going to print stick those on there. Just let me check that I'm happy with the placement because I don't want it. That might be better if they're not lined up. So a little bit of print stick. Put that one there. Now I've got a new class starting on the 3rd of June. It's a very short one, it's only four weeks. I, I'm easing myself in gently because we've had a bit of family stuff going on. Um, so I'm easing myself in gently. Now it's embroidery school and obviously hand embroidery will be the focus but if you were to join the class and you wanted anything like this covered then I'm sure I could uh, figure something out. There. So that's it. Uh, simple as that. So I'm going to have to take this forward obviously um, off camera. But just to give you a little heads up, so when you first do it, you've got plonk, 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 and then you can come to the time when you start to draw it all together. I mean, I could have done a horizontal line um, across there to draw those together. There's all kinds of different things you can do to make it more cohesive, like it all belongs together and it's not just plonked. Well, there you go, a very, very brief video of my next design sheet. And I think the pink one's probably not going to get any more work done to it. Because I can't get fired up for it. <clears throat> I might in the future, I won't throw it away. Um, I might in the future, but not at the moment. Okay. 